this is the basics involved in how I light painted the Star Wars Star Destroyer. Um, the setup is pretty simple, it's complete black surround. I have black velvety backdrop uh, and some velvety material on the floor. Helps absorb any unwanted light reflections. Using four brushes, two clear ones with a blue and an orange filter on, and two black fibre optic brushes. One with a yellow filter on, the other one just uh, plain white light. I'll be using this one mainly to actually light up the ship itself. Now, this ship loaned to me by Martin Hill, uh, it's actually got LEDs inside it. So they also add an extra element of light to the image. I first off start with the background with the orange brush, just moving it around all over the tabletop. Don't think of the image as one dimension, like a piece of paper. It's three dimensional. Move the brush three dimensions all the way around the object you're doing. But don't get it in front of the camera between the object and the camera, of course. Now you'll see me doing a few more underneath the ship in front of the stem. I'm, I'm trying to hide the stem of the ship. Or the stem that's holding the ship up, I should say. Right, that's the background done. Now I'm going to turn the LED lights on of the ship. On this instance, it actually helps me guide where I want the engine light. So it's now blues. Moving the brush backwards and forwards. Gives like a wavy effect of a, or a jet stream where the engines are. And then a little bit of up and down near the end, or should say near the ship. Now I'm going onto a yellow highlight for the surround, turning the LEDs off. Again, like with the orange, moving around, giving good colour all the way around. Good highlights, I should say, not good colour. Now, I'm going to use the orange filter with no brush to paint the back end of the ship up. Makes it a bit orange coloured like the um, surrounding light. Give it a feel of it's just popping out of the gas cloud. Now, taking the black brush with just a plain torch on it, making sure I'm always facing away from the camera this time with the brush. Just a quick highlight across the front, down this side. And that's the done.